talking to you live in color from the M and from the studios of Southern Maryland Studios. All right. In any case, I want to get a couple things off my mind here as we are uh, getting ready to prepare for tomorrow's observance of the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What his legacy and observance means to me. In 2016, and long before 2016, his legacy meant that my generation was the first generation that did not have to live, live under the rule of Jim Crow, where we were able to go to hotels, ride on buses in the front, or go to a restaurant just to get a burger anywhere in the country without having to be harassed because of the color of my skin. His legacy for me meant that I could actually go to a public restroom or a public drinking fountain if I had to worry about if I went to the white one by mistake. His legacy meant to me the fact that my money is good everywhere as good as it is for anybody else who has greenbacks. His legacy meant to me that one day I can dream big and reach those goals as high as I want to and not be afraid to reach those goals because I have to worry about Hey, they may not hire you because you're black. His legacy meant that I can go out there and be able to compete in the job market on equal footing. Or that we might be able to become president one day. Or that we may be able to become a surgeon or a lawyer or even a politician. His legacy meant everything to me. And on this day, his observance means everything to the world. Because he had the dream. The dream was to be on equal footing like everyone else. In observance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., let us remember, remember that for tomorrow, January 18th, 2016.
2016. This is DJ Wolf. I want to give you a little something to chew on as we celebrate the legacy and the life and times of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And remember, MLK Day is not just for a day to be off. It's a day to reflect. It's a day to observe. And it's a day to also, as recommended, to give service. Because of his sacrifices. It's his sacrifice that enable us today to do the things that we're doing today. And as a ref- also as a reflect today, I watched a number of YouTube videos last night and I realized something. His legacy lives even in through social media. It's social media that enable us to organize and strategize the fight against injustice in this country. Social media as it was designed to be was meant for as a way to communicate where communications wasn't through the mainstream media that you could be reached out to millions of those who couldn't be reached by the mainstream media. Social media today can bridge the gap and continue forth the legacy of Dr. King. But we have to take advantage of that. As I watch these different shows on YouTube, some do, some don't. But for the ones that do, there is a responsibility to carry on the legacy and to enable dialogue within our communities to help bring forth those changes. Because social media will enable us to do it if we take advantage of it and do it right. without all the excess of baggage of thoughts shifters daddies and everything else let's take advantage of that because social media if used wisely and properly can bring on the change that was inspired by a dream. This is DJ Wolf. Questions or comments, please, by all means, contact me at forallthehear at gmail.com, forallthehear at outlook.com, and also I can be reached at forallthehear On Twitter. Remember, when corresponding to DJ Wolf, please make sure you put the number two in for all to hear. Okay? All right, guys. I'm going to try to do another show tomorrow, but this is my main comment and uh, dialogue and opinion about. 
my feelings and reflections on the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This is DJ Wolf. Let's put that on your mind for MLK Day. It's DJ Wolf. I'll talk to you later.